Hello, I'm Matt the Beauty Shaper, and today I'll be sharing information about the macronutrient protein. But before I begin, I'd like to ask that you like and subscribe to my channel so I know you enjoyed the video. To begin with, protein is one of the three macronutrients that help the body function normally and is responsible for muscle building, including maintaining bones and skin. It's found in all kinds of meat, including seafood, nuts, seeds, eggs, and beans. That's just to name a few. Proteins are known as the building blocks of muscles, and amino acids are the building blocks of protein. It's good to know that not all sources of protein have equal nutritional value. Milk and other dairy products have both protein and carbohydrates, but the amount of protein can be less than carbohydrates. The body needs a lot of these nutrients in the form of calories, such as carbohydrates, protein, and fat, to keep it alive and healthy. Protein has four calories for every gram, and the body is composed of 15% of it. An interesting fact is that soy and whey protein are both considered complete proteins because they have the right amounts of essential and non-essential amino acids. Soybeans have 30% carbohydrates and 36% protein and 19% fat. And it also has potassium, zinc, iron, vitamin E, and all the B vitamins. And there's a difference between whey protein and soy protein. Whey protein has the highest amount of protein absorbed per gram consumed. It can be the best source of protein for muscle building. A 1994 study published in the U.S. National Library of Medicine said that a negative thing about soy protein is that it can lower testosterone levels and increase estrogen levels. And that can lead to weight gain. But then a later study on rhesus monkeys showed no changes in these levels in either males or females. For the most part, protein is said not to have an impact on either testosterone or estrogen levels. Other benefits include keeping cholesterol balanced in people with normal levels, improving recovery times, including the reduction of inflammation and soreness after exercise. Another benefit of soy protein is that it raises the thyroid hormone in the body, and this can help burning fat during workouts. A combination of processed whey and soy protein may just be the way to go to gain benefits during workouts. Protein has several effects on the body besides working as building blocks for muscle production. It also helps give the feeling of a full stomach after eating, and it also enhances the immune system. According to the Institute of Medicine, which was renamed National Academy of Medicine in 2016, the average person should eat around 10 to 35 percent protein calories daily, and the USDA guidelines suggest protein consumption should be based on age, sex, and physical activity. Other USDA guidelines include other factors, such as pregnant or lactating women, infants, older adults, or underlying medical conditions such as diabetes or heart disease or allergies may also have a bearing on how much protein should be consumed. And of course, vegetarians should always have alternative sources of protein. If your goal is weight management, whether it be to lose weight, to gain weight, or maintain your weight, protein consumption may also differ for you too. It's been found that as we get older, the body requires more protein for better health and maintaining overall performance. Not having enough protein in the later years and no exercise could mean the eventual loss of independence from muscle atrophy. And it could lead to depression and it could lead to ultimately a shorter lifespan. On the other hand, eating protein or eating more protein has been said to reduce the amount of times you get sick. The European Union Geriatric Medicine Society conducted a study on people over 65 years old and found that they should eat more protein than younger people. They recommend 1 to 1.2 grams of protein for every kilogram of weight that the person has to keep muscles intact while reducing muscle loss. I'll discuss other topics such as BCAAs, which are branched-chained amino acids in protein, and how they help build muscles and aid in muscle production and muscle recovery in another video. I should mention that vegetarians may not get the right amount of protein from plants, and by, but eating nuts, beans, and brown rice could actually help give a balanced, complete protein. 
I hope you enjoyed my video on protein. If you'd like to learn more information and find other health conscious people, you can join my Facebook group. It's called The Beauty Shaper. Soon I plan to make an interesting video about weight gainers, protein powders, and their benefits. For now, always remember to try to eat healthy as much as you can. And if you break and have a cheat day, forgive yourself and try again. Thank you so much for watching my video. Have a great day.